hi it's your girlfriend Gigi back with another video in this video i'm going to be quickly touching base on three things that have not changed post bariatric surgery many years later stay tuned <laughs> So many of you that have been following my journey for over six years here on my YouTube channel have seen that I have gotten great success with this bariatric surgery. I have been able to successfully lose over 130 pounds, I've kept the weight off, and I still continue to lose if I want to lose some more. But even with all that great success, unfortunately, there are some things that have not changed even years after the surgery. And I'm going to go over three of those things right here right now one of those things is unfortunately i have not been able to not feel that not as i call it or that uncomfortable feeling that i have felt ever since the surgery and basically what that is is anytime that i am eating a little bit too much or i'm drinking water any kind of liquids while i'm eating there's this very uncomfortable feeling and it's kind of like close to when you have a full stomach and let's say you have like rice, because I remember experiencing that with rice and I've seen other people have that. You have rice, you have a lot of it, you drink water and you feel like on your chest, like a tightness, it's like a tightness. Well, that same feeling is what bariatric patients can experience in the top part of their stomach when they have done a little bit too much. And that feeling you will feel even years after the surgery. Now there is a myth that your uh, stomach will stretch to the full capacity as, it, as you had it before the surgery. That is absolutely not true because 80% of the stomach has been removed. So because of that, you're unable to expand that much. However, you can stretch it a little bit, but not that much. And you will feel uncomfortable. So if you ever get that feeling, don't think it's gonna go away. Because it won't, baby. It will not go away. Six years post-op, I still get that. So let that just be like a little hint, like, hey, okay, I got to stop here, right? Or like if you're eating and drinking water, don't do it. Another thing, and my husband tends to be very guilty of this even many years after the surgery, talking while you are eating. It's a no-no. You will also get that uncomfortable feeling. It will not go away even after years after the surgery. Number two, eating pastas, rice, and anything uh, with a lot of sauce. Not that you can't have it, but if you have that, you should not try to talk while you are eating this because it is heavy. That alone is very heavy in your stomach, and when you try to do that, you're going to feel that uncomfortable feeling, and it's not going to be enjoyable. That's another thing that I've noticed that can be heavy. And this is not just for me. I've actually spoken to other bariatric patients. By the way, let me know in the comment section down below, what have you experienced? Maybe you are four years post-op, maybe five years, maybe three years. And you've noticed there are certain things that you're just like, well, I guess this is just gonna be part of it. Because the reality is there are things that come with the surgery that you do have to deal with for the rest of your life. But that doesn't mean that you cannot manage them if you have a word. And number three is drink the amount of liquids that you can um, intake. So you are able to drink, like for example, water. Um, as soon as you get out of surgery, you know you can barely do that. I remember like they gave me a little medicine cup, like those plastic ones. And that was all that I could have like every 15 minutes. Well, that, after a while, many months, you can have a little bit more, and, but you'll still feel a little bit uncomfortable, right? That, that uncomfortable feeling. Well, many years after, the good news is that you can drink like before the surgery. However, you cannot try to avoid mixing that with foods because you will feel very, um, very uncomfortable. Uh, so there you have it. Those are just three things. Aside from that, I'm able to do anything else. Um, I'm able to eat whatever I want. Obviously, if you are going to be eating because your stomach allows you, you don't have any like GERD um, or like, because I know some people do experience that after the surgery. If you don't have any issues with the foods and you, and you, you can pick a variety of foods, right? But if you don't have any issues, you can go ahead and have whatever you want. Just make sure you are mindful of the portions 
aside from the calories which i have touched base in my last video if you want to go go ahead and check it i will put it up there um you can go ahead and take a look at that video right after you're done watching this one it's going to be very helpful to you to know how many calories around how many calories you want to stick to if you want to avoid gaining weight after the surgery significant amount of weight so there you go i hope that this was helpful like i said let me know your thoughts don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms uh your girlfriend Gigi on ig and i also have a facebook page as well and go ahead and send me any messages any questions i'll be happy to answer them take care have a blessed day